So, the last time I went on an adventure, I got in trouble for trespassing. So here we are, going on another adventure. <laughs> adventure, probably one of, if not the best games on the Atari 2600. The graphics might be simple, because, oh, I don't know, it's on a fucking Atari, but it's a good game. It has three levels, but it's, it's a really good game for the 2600. And I would show you gameplay of this cartridge, but it, it don't work. So instead I have to, you know, I have to play on, oh shit. I have to play on this fucking waste of plastic. Oh, thank God the Atari 2600 uses normal joysticks. Because, or this flashback piece of shit uses normal Atari joysticks. Because, uh, I don't think I'd want to wear gloves for this. So, adventure. Well, this is level one, and, well, it's an Atari. So you'd think on the flashback that they'd make it so, you know, you could press the reset button on the controller. No! Sorry. I'm sorry, but, like, Atari, the f fucking flashback, it has, like, all the buttons rearranged, so that's actually the game select button. This is the reset. Fucking stupid piece of shit. So this is the first screen of when you see Adventure. You're this little dot, and you pick up the key, open the gate. Wow, now you have the sword. This is the sword. I know, it looks like an arrow, but trust me. It's a sword. Just like, trust me, you're a knight, and not an Atari 2600 tennis ball. Anyways, oh my gosh, you changed color. That's a barrier. Kill the dragon. Yeah, murder. <laughs> so then you get the black key, and you run into another fucking dragon. Make sure you don't get eaten. And, of course, I know the pattern just because I'm an Atari nerd. But overall, the maze actually really doesn't make sense. I'm gonna be honest with you. The maze doesn't make sense. You get used to, you get used to knowing where you go. Or you get eaten by a fucking dragon. And then you have to press the goddamn reset button. Keep your progress, which is nice. So, and, so now you go back, you grab the sword. I probably should have... Went and killed that dragon first, but whatever. Trust, trust me, guys. It's a sword. Trust me, guys. Die, die. Yeah, I shouldn't need the sword no more. But yeah, the the maze just doesn't make sense. I mean, once you once you learn where to go in the maze, trust me, you'll you'll never forget it. Like last time I played Adventure on this piece of shit, and overall. It's probably two years ago, and I still remember that fuck the fucking pattern. So yeah, that's a magnet. I don't really need a magnet, except for when you want to go to kill the fucking dragon again. God damn it! Leave me the hell alone. So pretty much your goal, besides from not getting eaten by the goddamn dragon, is to take this and not get caught on a wall and take it back to the yellow castle. Bozo died. See, you just take it back to the castle and... Oh, God, seizure! Please, level one. Now, how do you pick the levels? You have to touch the system again. So now, this is level two. Now, as you can see, there's a flying boomerang, or, I'm sorry, a bat. Sorry, Atari graphics, yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. And he's carrying a sword. Why? Don't ask questions. So, back down here, oh, it's dark now, so you can't see where you're going, which is kind of a cool shtick. But it's kind of, it kind of sucks as well. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on, let's be real. 
I've never actually beaten this level just because the fucking dragon, bro. But, there is one cool thing about this game that I really like. It is the first video game to have an Easter egg in it. So overall, do I recommend Adventure? Well, if you have a working copy and you don't have to use a piece of shit emulation device, yeah, I'd say so. Pretty good game for the 2600. Overall, just... There's better games, obviously. If you have a Nintendo or a Super Nintendo, or by far. But, Adventure's a really good game if you have an Atari 2600. So I definitely recommend it. So, yeah, I'll see y'all later. Bye.